good everyone my name is graphics if you look at the top right corner of the screen we are told to reproduce the figure that is displayed there and we have just two views of the figure which is the elevation and the plan so before we do whatever we are told to do which we are told to draw just live view we first of all reproduce the figure now what you do is i will start from the elevation I will draw my horizontal line this way, faint line, and I am going to pick a point, right? From that point, if you look closely, you discover that um, the figure is towards your left. What I'm showing here, we have 30 degree, is projected at an angle of 30 degree, or towards your right, it's projected at, what? at an angle of what? 60 degree. So if I'm choosing my left hand side, I'll mark this point. This is my point A here, which I want to use. Let me say this point A, right? And I'll place my C square. When it's inclined in this direction, it is 30 degree. And I'm going to move it until I get to that position. Now, when I get there, I'll just produce, project a line, faint line, first of all. You can see that. And once here is 30, the other aspect to be what will be 60 as shown in the diagram so if it's like this is 60 right so i'll just project here this way so if i do that the reason why we are doing this is because you know in a square each of the angles there are what are 90 degree they are perpendicular to each other so this is what perpendicular now we are not told that the distance they give us one side and the side is what 40 millimeter so if one side 40 millimeter mean every other side is what 40 millimeter so i'll just go to this point here and i'll measure 40. so once i measure the 40 from here to here is 40 millimeter you can see that that is the 40 there now once i've done that since i use 60 to project here i'll use 30 to project here only to achieve the aim of Getting a parallel line that is parallel to this line here. So once I place it this way, I also get another line. I'll draw with a faint line this way. You can see that. And I'll measure 40 again. Or I can just easily take my compass. And this is point B. Let me call it to be my point B. So I'll take my compass to this point, to this point, right? And I'll move it here. So from here, I can draw another line. Since I use 60 to draw this, I'll move it to this point to complete the loop. So I'll thicken it since I know where I'm heading. You can see that. And I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing here. Right? Then I can just complete the rest here. Let's close it up. So in doing that, this is what we have here, right? So this is A, B, this will be C, and this will be what? D, right? Now if you look closely, you will know that from this point here to this point here, And from this point here to this point here, here to here, and from here to here, it's giving us this is 60 degree, and this is what 30 degree, right? So if I do that, if I accomplish that height. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to draw the um, the plan of it. So I'm going to project each of these points downward. So if I do that, I project each of these points downward this way, right? To just get the plan. So what I'll just do here is this. My plan will be falling on this line. Let me zoom on this line. 
right so if you look at this from this point if i trace it to this point this is one point here from this point also if i trace it to here this other point here so it means that i am going to take in all this point here i'll take in it from here straight down to this point you can see that and also the height also i can just draw a vertical line this way since one of the sides is 40 mean every other side is what is 40 so i'll just measure the 40 from here and i'll come here and i'll replicate it here also right so i'm going to take in this aspect here right and i'll come here also just take this down a little bit and i'll take in this point here then i'll close here you can see that it doesn't end there if you look closely you see that um, i'm just replicating what i see on the top right corner of the screen look at this point if i trace it here here will be ticking that is why the aspect is ticking because this is the plan then if i come here also i cannot see here from the top looking at from the top here then i'll be having this so this is what we have right so this is so from here I can easily call this point here and call this point here from here let me just draw an horizontal line this way right so of course that is my xx axis you can see that so once i've done that now we'll start our business this is what we have at the top right corner of the screen but now we are told to draw the auxiliary what the auxiliary elevation right so so drawing the auxiliary elevation we have to project the plan that is the rule we are told to produce an auxiliary elevation you project the plan we are told to produce an auxiliary plan you project the elevation so this is the plan this is the elevation and this is what this is the plan right so let's move forward and see how that goes now the good news here is this we can be given an axis an axis of maybe 30 if you're given an axis of 30 it means you must project it what with um, 50 with um, 60 if you're given 45 as the axis that you want to reflect your image on you must project with what 45 by giving we are giving 60 degree, right? So I can just easily take this this way and I'll just project it like this, right? This way. You can see that. So this will be my, my plane. I'll call it XX also. Let me just call it XX. We are moving toward that direction. So if this is um, if this is sixty, the angle here is sixty. I'll place it here. The angle here is what? It's angle sixty degree. Sixty degree. So it means I must project with what? With thirty. If here is thirty. I will project with what 60. If here is 45, I'll project with what with 45. If here is 10, I'll project with what with 80. So the aim is for you to have a perpendicular line. They must be at inclined at 90 degrees to each other. So since it's 60, so it means that I must take um, at an angle of what for 30. So this is 30 here, and I'm going to project this to this. What do you notice? It's for me 90 degree. I'll go to the next one too. I'll project. 
I'll go to the next one to our project. I'll go to the next one to our project. I'll go to the next one here, our project. The next one here, our project. To the next one here, our project. And here also, I'm going to what project. So this is what we have here, right? Now, what we'll do here is that I can be taking here to be my reference line. So to help myself, to make this easier for myself, we know all these points are gotten from here. They are all on the same line. These are my imaginary lines. Right? These are my what? My imaginary lines. So from this point here, I can start. I will take my compass. I will place it on this my imaginary line here. Right? So once I come here, you can see that I'll go to that line the point at the other line is look at the point here I'll come here so I can just call here if this is B I can say this point is what is B prime and here should be what B prime prime I will together depend on what you're doing so if I take my line from line XX to B prime to B here I'll go to B prime I'll trace it and come at this point then I'll mark here so that will be my point what my point b right prime then i'll still come with the same measurement here I, from here i got this and from the same measurement i'll come here i'll choose to this point i'll mark here also i'll have you what my b prime prime so what do you notice they are connected so i can just use my metal rule with my faint line first of all now let's join those two lines first. Since from here to here is connected, right? Now the same thing. I'll go to this point. This point. You see this point here? Is on the is on this line. So automatically it will be on this line. So at this point, I'll trace it to here. I'll call here. If here is a, I'll call it to be what my a prime. And I'll call it to be what my a prime prime. So once I come here, I'll trace it and I discover that since the A is on this point, this line, the A prime will also be on this line. So my A prime is on this position here, A prime. Now the same thing, my B prime, I'll copy my B prime also. My B prime is also, as in my A prime is also, A prime prime is also on this line here. So here also is my A prime prime. So it's already connected together, right? Now, what do you notice? My A prime prime is connected to what? B prime prime, right? So I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to connect my A prime prime and what? And B prime prime, like this. So A prime prime with faint line is connected to B prime prime, just like you can see there. A prime prime to B prime prime and A prime to B prime. So I'll connect these two too. You can see that that is one i'm using faint line first of all so the same thing i'll go to the next point this is d so i'll call here to be my d prime and i'll call it to be what my d prime prime right so with the help of my compass i'll place it at this point i'll go to d you can see that and i'll move on the line of d prime here and i'll come here place it here and i'll mark so I'll call that point my D prime, right? So this point here is my what? My D prime. With the same measurement, I'll trace it on my D prime prime. I'll come on that line, place it here. I'll mark here. I'll call it what? My D prime prime, right? What do you notice? B prime prime is connected to D prime prime. Similarly, A prime prime is also connected to D prime prime. So all the prime prime are connected to each other. So my B prime prime, is connected to D prime prime. Let's use a faint line first. We're moving, we're moving ahead. Now, if you look at this, my D prime prime is connected to what to D prime, right? D prime prime connected to what D prime. So I'll just connect this to this. You can see that 
and also my b prime and t prime are connected my t prime right and b prime are connected so d and b is connected d and b is connected so i'm going to connect d prime and d prime since d and b is connected you can see that now the next thing is i'm coming to this point so i'll come to i'll call it to be c prime and i'll call it to be what c prime prime so if i move to this point to my c i'll place it here on the line of c prime i'll mark right so i'll call it what c prime also the same measurement that i use for c here take it to c prime prime also place it here and i'm going to stay mark so i'll call that point what my c prime prime so what do you notice my c and d is connected c and d is connected so i'm going to connect these two together and also my a and c is connected a this is a and c is also connected so i'm going to connect these two together All right and also if you check you will discover that um, we have c prime prime here so c prime prime and c prime is connected so c prime prime and c prime is connected these two so let's connect these two together here yeah? my paint line cell you can see that also a prime prime and c prime prime is connected right a prime prime and what c they're all connected you see a prime prime and c prime prime or you can say a and c anything c is connected to it so this is a here it's connected to c here right so it's connected to c just like uh, c prime prime is connected to what to d just like c is connected to d also so connect c to d right so it's just simple you will discover that a is connected to b c d so you connect a to b a to c and so on and so forth so i'll just bring them out so if i bring them out i'll take in this is outside i'll take in this also is outside i'll take in this is outside right then i'll take in this is outside i'll take in this is on outside i'll take in this is outside take in this also right i'll take in this too but you see the rest are inside so i'm going to draw my hidden line and also here too my hidden line because i can't see them they are inside and here also my hidden line that is the main reason why i was using my faint line then this is taken so this is what we have so if you found this is your live view of this two of this figure here right so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button right and don't forget to like the video thanks for watching